Did you know that your menstrual cycle isn't just about your period, it's actually your body's monthly hormone rhythm preparing for pregnancy? If you've ever wondered what's really happening during your period and how the cycle works, you're not alone. And today we're breaking it down using verified NHS guidance. Welcome to Balanced Woman UK, and this channel is all about clear, evidence-based women's health information you can trust. Today we're covering Your Period Explained, how your cycle really works, including the four main phases of the menstrual cycle, what's normal and what's not when it comes to bleeding and symptoms, when to seek medical advice from your GP or healthcare professional. Everything in this video is based on official NHS and NICE guidance, and I've linked all sources in the description below. So first, let's talk about what your menstrual cycle actually is. According to the NHS, the menstrual cycle is the monthly process your body goes through to prepare for a possible pregnancy, involving changes in hormone levels, your ovaries, and your womb lining. A typical cycle lasts about 28 days, but anything from 21 to 35 days can be completely normal. Your period, the bleeding phase, is just one part of this cycle, not the whole story. Phase 1, menstrual phase, covering days 1 to 5. This phase starts on the first day of bleeding, what you call your period. During this time, levels of estrogen and progesterone are low, causing the womb lining, the endometrium, to shed and leave the body as menstrual blood. According to the NHS, bleeding normally lasts between three and eight days. The first two days are usually heaviest, and blood loss averages around 30 to 40 milliliters, about two to three tablespoons. Mild cramping and tiredness are common but severe pain or very heavy bleeding can indicate conditions like endometriosis, fibroids, or heavy menstrual bleeding. So it's always worth discussing those with your GP. Now onto the follicular phase. This begins on the same day as your period, but extends until ovulation. Rising estrogen levels cause the pituitary gland in your brain to release follicle-stimulating hormone, or FSH. Several follicles, which are the tiny sacs in your ovaries, start to mature, but only one becomes dominant and releases the egg. Estrogen also helps rebuild the womb lining in preparation for a possible pregnancy. Some people find their energy, mood, and skin improve during this time. Think of it as your body's growth and repair phase. Phase 3. Ovulation, around day 14, the midpoint of the cycle. A surge in luteinizing hormone triggers the release of an egg from the ovary, which then travels down the fallopian tube. According to NHS guidance, this is the phase when you're most fertile, roughly 12 to 16 days before your next period starts. Some people notice mild cramps, increased cervical mucus that's clear and stretchy, or a slight rise in body temperature. It's completely normal not to feel ovulation every month, but if your cycle is very irregular or you don't bleed at all, it's important to check in with a GP. Finally, the luteal phase. After ovulation, the empty follicle becomes what's called a corpus luteum, producing progesterone. Progesterone thickens the womb lining ready for implantation. In other words, the progesterone helps to make the womb more receptive for a fertilized egg to attach itself to the uterine wall to begin pregnancy. If the egg isn't fertilized, progesterone drops, triggering the next period to begin. This drop can bring PMS or premenstrual symptoms like bloating, mood swings and fatigue, perfectly normal in moderation. If PMS significantly affects your mood or daily life, it could be premenstrual dysphoric disorder, and your GP can help you explore support and treatment options. Let's clear up a few myths. One of the common myths is that everyone's period is exactly 28 days. In fact, it varies. Between 21 and 35 days is normal. Another myth is that you shouldn't exercise on your period, 
That is not factual because gentle exercise can actually help relieve cramps and improve energy levels. And there is also widespread belief that PMS is just in your head. Actually, PMS and PMDD are real, hormonally-driven conditions recognized by the NHS and NICE. If you trust that hormones are real and they can cause you to laugh or cry, then it should not be too hard to believe that other hormones can have impact on the human body in a different way. OK, let's quickly recap the key points. Your menstrual cycle is a monthly hormone rhythm preparing your body for pregnancy. The average cycle lasts 28 days, but varies from 21 to 35. The four phases includes menstrual, follicular, ovulation, and luteal. Each have distinct hormonal roles. If your periods are irregular, very painful, or unusually heavy, book an appointment with your GP. They can rule out underlying conditions and help you find relief. Quick reminder, this video is for general information only and is not a substitute for medical advice. Always consult your GP or a qualified healthcare professional for personal guidance. All information is sourced from nhs.uk and NICE guidelines. Links are in the description. Thanks so much for watching Balanced Woman UK. If you found this helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more NHS-based women's health guides every week. Drop a comment below if you have questions or topics you'd like me to cover next. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video.